I'm here with Dave Beckley, who is the head fabricator and engine builder here at Mountain View Performance. Dave, when did you get started uh, building race cars? I would have to say it was when I was old enough to uh, pick up a hot rod magazine and pretty much hung out with all my friends that had race cars and and just learned over the years and just the more I learned the more I wanted to do it so just got better at it it seemed like. So did you do any racing yourself? Yes, um, started out with my high school Camaro that I built and got kicked out of the school parking lot so figured that was time to go to the racetrack and do it. and race that and then of course like every racer it's not fast enough so you cut it apart and do things to it to make it go faster so and just it's an out of control habit yes <laughs> <laughs> dave what do you feel sets you apart as a fabricator well again after doing it over the years and the cost and it's a really expensive sport and i just like i say i work on other people's cars so i felt that I could do it for people and not charge them as much and still make them go fast, be happy, because uh, a repeat customer is always the best customer because um, you don't want to get a bad reputation out there or whatever. Um, you know, and the thing is working with all the other major chassis builders like Jerry Haas, Jerry Bickle, Don Ness, Rick Jones, you learn all the things that particular people like to do. And with me, I can kind of incorporate all the different ideas into what we do here. So uh, one guy may be special at one thing and one special at other, and you can't get it there. But here, you know, I can give you part of Rick Jones, part of, you know, Jerry Haas. It's however you want to do it. So it, it comes in handy because they all have their good benefits. So it's just kind of nice to incorporate everything together. So that's why we, we think we're different from everybody else. Dave, what kind of advice do you have for people that are uh, building or upgrading their race cars? Well, the first advice I would have is they need to look at the long picture of what their racing intentions are. Um, you know, do they have a plan of where they're going to stay in one class basically forever and just go so fast? Or if they want to go faster, um, research parts better find competent you know racers winning racers find out what they're doing you know try to get advice from them what can you tell us about the car that we're standing in front of well this car was the mountain view racing's first pro stock car and uh, actually i drove it for nine races in the 2009 season when his wife was ill when it was time to retire the car we got a new car and we kept it around because the uh, nick's son wanted to race top sportsman so we converted over with a big block Chevy and an automatic to race top sportsman. And, and he's been doing really good at, at uh, Phoenix this year. He run it up at the national event. So it, it's a bracket car that it's, we call it a barbecue car because uh, we literally, the only thing we do is put gas in it and charge battery. And it goes seven thirties all day long. And just, you know, you just, we don't work on it. We just bring it home, maintenance it for the next race and go out and just wear it out. Wish my car did that. <laughs> Don't put that in there. <laughs> so you build engines here? Yes, we build new engines from scratch, or if you have an existing engine, we will freshen it, uh, go through it, give our recommendations if it needs better parts, or, or if you want it to go faster, we'll let you know what it would need. And you have an engine dyno facility, right? Yes, we have a brand new Superflow dyno. So what is your general philosophy when it comes to engine building and assembly and things like that? Most of it would be uh, reliability and consistency. I would say the majority of our racers are bracket racers, meaning super gas, super comp, but top dragster, top sportsman. And you have to have something that you, A, is going to be reliable every day. B, it needs to run the same every day because that's how you win or lose the race. And when we build them, we always put good parts. We won't fudge on parts. Um, we have a couple customers, super class cars, and they've won many national events, been division champions, and we build their engines every two years. And when he brings it back to freshen, it's got the same spark plugs it left with. <laughs> so that's consistency. It just, it runs all the time. It just, again, it's back to the barbecue deal. It just, they just never work on it. It just runs and runs and runs. That's a good sign.